Oh. Hey, peeps, and welcome back to another episode here on the Hope Survive Hope Survival Evolved Arc Survival Evolved in the Hope series. There we go. That's 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 the correct order that those words go in. But yes, peeps, welcome back, and uh, welcome to what is the second attempt of me recording this video. You see, peeps, I uh I use OBS to record my videos. It's a great editing software. It's really nice and. Uh, what is what is happening over here? Oh, oh, dude! I thought that was like 300 damage. Okay, uh, give me one moment. I need to deal with an unruly saber tooth. Hello, yep. Please, there we go. All right, but uh, yes, like I was saying, peeps, this is my second attempt at recording this intro because OBS. Whenever my computer restarts, and it's not every time, which makes this 100% worse, but sometimes when my computer restarts, it just decides to deselect my my main voice recording microphone as the main source for receiving my voice. So <laughs> I got about a third of the way through recording this episode, and then I realized that none of it had my vocals. So, you know, that kind of sucked. So I'm just going to go ahead and restart the entire video. Thankfully, not too much happened. Uh, you could see some some giga things happen, but I'll go into that in a moment. Let's uh, Let's start with our usual recap of the events that happened in the last episode so main things are we went ahead and took down alpha manticore and alpha dragon unlocking this beautiful piece of machinery the s plus mutator and with this unlocked we were good to go on our titanosaur breeding but it did not come easy peeps we lost almost all of our gigas tanzanite here being the only survivor of the dragon's onslaught and uh, yeah, so going into this episode, we had to start our Titanosaur mutations and revitalize our Giga army. And as you can see, I have completed one of those goals. We have Frieza's replacement here, which I have named Cooler. And if you peeps don't know, in the lore of Dragon Ball Z, well, I guess, I guess in the unofficial lore, uh, Cooler is Frieza's brother. So what better way to, or what better name to give Frieza's replacement? The rest of these Gigas have been named the Diamond wing of members that support the channel so we have amnesia smart 2004 bellamy toad polaris tranker fan and too tired to sleep i feel that one but uh yeah so if you peeps want to go ahead and potentially get your name on a dino all you have to do is just click the membership link down in the description below or there is sometimes a little join button next to the subscribe button for mobile users sometimes it's not there i don't know why youtube is just a great flawless video platform but yeah so you could do that or you could donate through patreon but the, the the membership is the main way to do this and if you do that you also get a bunch of other bonuses like occasionally i'll do events where everyone can play with me on and various other games or the arc server i do also have a a private arc server for those who support me and uh and also early videos i, I make all of my videos a day early for the members and that's that's any member tier not not just diamond wing so even just the one dollar a month tier you get all the same benefits so it's just how generous you want to be i don't want to gatekeep any content behind uh behind any paywalls but yeah so a lot of gigas here peeps and this goes into what we're doing today because i did start our uh our mutation breeding for our titanosaurs and it's going well it is going well you can see here we have our one male a whole heck of a bunch of females but boy oh boy does this take a long time like look at this guy this guy's taking and this is i don't even know when this started so it's currently at 35 minutes to lay one more egg so this takes a long time and uh, if we go over here this takes even longer so yeah i i realized quite rapidly that titanosaur mutations probably not going to happen within even the week for me so i i made the decision that i want to actually get content out for you guys to watch so today's episode instead of titanosaur mutations it's going to be all about beating alpha brood and alpha mega mythicus so yes that's what this army is for and i believe it's going to be quite the stomp and in theory we are just good to go we're ready we have all the tributes and uh all, obviously all the gigas are ready they're all leveled they're all uh fully healed everything is nice oh oh this is pluto all right are you guys fed you guys should have food right right oh yeah they all have food yeah they're all um kind of baseline about the same all have 70k health 
Some of them are a little bit more level than others. I definitely went hard on Cooler, so he has almost a thousand percent melee because I killed a whole bunch of alphas with him and I killed more indoms. And I guess that's what we're going to be doing right now because if we go here, check this out, peeps. I have a whole bunch more indom eggs and one more indo raptor egg now unfortunately this is just a basic indo raptor but i figured we give the indo raptor one more chance to give us a high level and that's why this machine is here i think i do need to power this first and this is powered with gasoline right oh nope this this needs power cells which is good because i don't know how i would have well i guess i could have just jumped over it to get to the gasoline because my gasoline's in the in the things behind this but here we go boom and uh and how does this work? I gotta click the egg. Yeah, there we go. Thank you, Brain. So yeah, this will be our first normal Indoraptor. So if it's a high level, I'll be kind of sad because I, I won't, I guess I could clone it. We do have the cloning chamber now. So potentially we could do some Indoraptor things, but I don't think we'll get lucky enough to have a high level. Yep, only a 188. Oh, come on, game. I've hatched so many Indoraptors. Actually, I don't even really want you. Uh, I'm just, I'm just gonna, I think I'm just gonna kill this Indoraptor, so let's go ahead and whistle passive and, and put this child down. Alright, but now to the meat and potatoes of this, all of these Indom eggs. Hopefully we'll at least get a better Indom than the Indoms that we currently have here. Let's go ahead, put all this meat in here. Oh, type in the wrong things. There we go, yes, yeah, just clear out the inventory. All right, Indominus Rex. Will we get lucky right off the bat? 248. What up? What's, yeah, actually, let's quickly check. What's the base level of our current Indoms that we use? Here we go. Here's two waddle. Let's go. I got to go way over here because Pluto's box area is massive. Yeah, gosh, dang it. All right, two waddle. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and walk over here. Is that already a better base level? No, okay. So, wow, dude, two waddle came out. Oh, actually, I guess we don't know because this is a bread indom. So with best bread stats, our indom's base level is 293. So the stats I guess we're looking to beat are 47 health, 65 melee. So let's go ahead and keep that in mind for uh, for hatching all of these babies. So let's go ahead and cryo this indom because it might have better stats, of course, because we're in Pluto. I can't. Well, I guess I can check it here. So 20, basically 20, not uh, 27,000 health and 285 melee. Okay. I can't, I don't remember if that's good or not. Cause I can't compare it to Tuwaddle cause Tuwaddle has been leveled. Oh, 275. Okay. So already pretty nice luck with the indoms. 275. That might actually be really nice. Cause I, I think our highest level indom now I, I could be super wrong but i believe it was at the at the highest mid 200s so we're already getting better levels here just on our second indom come on come on hop on out this animation is really cool but it is also slow and oh there we go oh, 219 all right we don't need you. Indom number four is hatching out of his slash her egg. I've got my shotgun ready. Oh, 130. I'm not even going to let you see the light of day. Get out of here. <laughs> Absolutely not. Cool colors, though. All right, let's go ahead and hatch this one. Yeah, those actually were really nice colors. I'm kind of sad that uh, that was such a bad Indom. But uh, yeah, I don't I don't think we're going to get better than this one, peeps. I, j I just don't think it'll be in the cards. I wonder if we can get over max level. 209. Yep, that is also not a creature I'm going to be keeping. All right, this is our last egg. Honestly, though, if if this one that we got, what was it? Two, yeah, 275. If that's our best one, I, uh, I won't complain. I'll consider that a win if it's better than two waddle stats. Now, I know some of you are probably wondering why I never mutated the indoms because i just didn't think they were good enough levels ah, we'll keep this one just to see if it has better stats but yeah i didn't think they were good enough levels to mutate plus i didn't feel like they needed them because you know even with the crappy levels that we got we, we could just eat a few uh, bodies and then do like tens of thousands of damage so that combined with the fact that i didn't really plan on taking them into boss fights anyway i just didn't feel like I, I didn't feel the need to mutate them. All right, but here we go. Whoa! Dude! 
The colors. This is... And, and plus, the base colors <laughs> are already... Like, I'm sorry. I, I don't think there's a better mutation that I could have made that's better than this. These are, This is like a dream mutation here. We've got the cyan. We've got purple. We've got white. It's basically the gigas, but more vibrant, which is what I love. All right. Now, if only it has good stats. Are you kidding? Wow, that's garbage. Yeah, that really sucks. Okay, well, I mean, let's, let's see what these other ones are. Oh, man. Wow. So we, we must have gotten really lucky. Because these gigas suck. Or, uh, indoms. Okay, well, I 100% want this these colors on my main indom. So I'm going to go ahead and breed these colors onto these stats. That'll probably take me another couple of hours, but it'll be worth it, peeps, because of the drip. The drip is always worth it. Can I kill you without a... Yes, perfect. Oh! Yes, eat up, my child. Feast! Feast on the corpses of your brethren! Just like, uh, just like the, the real Indominus, actually. Wow, you are rapidly, uh... Oh! Oh, there we go. Okay, well, let's go ahead and get you over to our growth thing. I almost forgot that we had this, so we could rapidly grow this Indom. And then start the color combining process. I wish there was a way I could guarantee, like, colors. That would be really nice. But, uh, unfortunately, that does not exist. So, yeah, I will see you peeps. I didn't want to start that. Well, that sucks. And now I gotta wait five minutes. Alright, well, anyway, <laughs> like I was saying, I'll, uh, I'll see you peeps. One of the gigas just fart. Yeah, fart reverb sound effect. But, yeah, I, I, I keep rambling. I'll see ya, peeps, when I see ya. <laughs> bye bye Alrighty, peeps, we are ready for the Broodmother fight. We have our perfectly leveled and, and colored Indominus, and honestly, uh, hatching those extra Indom eggs was worth it just for these colors. Look how good this looks. I, I really just can't get over it. I'm definitely gonna put this Indom in the thumbnail in, in some way, shape, or... Form. But yes, peeps, I went ahead and named him Shimu. That is a reference to the latest Godzilla movie, and that's all I'm going to say about it. That movie literally just came out, so I know there's people that don't want any spoilers, so I, that's, all, that's all. I'm going to leave it right there. But it, you'll know once you've seen the movie. I mean, I, at least I hope you know. You probably will. But yes, peeps, here we are at Green Obelisk. We have all of our gigas here, and thankfully I was able to fit everyone on the platform, which was... Very convenient. Uh, yes, you, this Giga should also be here. But, uh, yeah, so I don't think the Gigas can damage each other when they rage. So the Gigas should be fine. But when they do rage, which I, I think they will do against Alpha Broodmother, we need to make sure that we are nowhere near them on Shimu because they will absolutely shred our health pool and i really don't want to lose shimu i obviously went ahead and bred backups but again th that doesn't mean i want to use them right so here we go i already got all of the tributes needed so all we have to do now is start all right up to 20 tames allowed i i still don't even think we have 20 tames here and oh no all right we might lose out on one giga oh actually that might have been enough oh i'm, I'm stuck get off of me <gasps> Oh, gosh, wait, imagine if I didn't teleport. That would be really unfortunate. All right, oh, dude, please get it. Dude, yeah, that would have sucked. I would have lost all the Gigas and Shibu. All right, but, um, yeah, peeps, who do we think is going to get the kill on Broodmother? Here we go. And we're in. All right, where? Where's my end up? Where? Where's? Where? Oh, no. Oh, dude, I thought my end up didn't come in for a second. All right, well... I guess, uh, here we go. Let's go ahead, get all of them going in. Oh, dude, the damage. Yeah, dude, the spit of Broodmother is crazy. Oh, they're, okay, some of them are already raging. The amount of damage that they're, oh, boy. Oh, yep, 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 we gotta back off. Oh, ooh. All right, yeah, one of the gigas came after us there, but as long as Broodmother is closer, they should choose Broodmother over us every time. I'm gonna go ahead and gamma up here just so we can see a little better. Ah! 
Why stop stomping on me? Oh my gosh, we've already lost. Ah! No! No, not me! The brood mother, please. <laughs> no, I am not. I am not the enemy here. Let's go ahead, get everyone. Uh, uh, yeah, like maintain their courage. Yeah, dude, brood mother's already at half. Oh, the, the, just the difference of difficulty between all of the other island bosses and dragon on display right here. I mean, fair enough. If we had this many gigas against dragon, it probably also would have died just as fast. All right, I gotta be careful here. I definitely don't want to get air nail webbed when, when I need to run away. But uh, yeah, there um, there goes brood peeps. That uh, that's quite quick. All right, let's go ahead and do another another bit of courage roaring. They don't need it. And uh, yeah. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. <gasps> All right, now I have to survive. Oh oh, are we good? Yeah! Oh, I didn't see who got the kill. I don't even know if it says who got the kill, but there we go! Oh, boy. Hey, uh, hey, Tanzanite. Hey, T Tanzanite! <laughs> it's so nerve-wracking. Oh! Uh, I... Oh, they actually did lose a lot of health. Hey, ah! Uh, stop it! Yeah, they did lose... Oh, okay, well... Oh, I'm guessing these are the ones that got hit by, like, the uh, that initial spit barrage, because these ones... I mean, they're literally not even hurt. What? Well, Toad almost died. Oh my gosh. All right. So I guess, yeah, these Gigas really are just the most glass cannon creature we could bring into the boss fights. That's crazy. Even with a hundred health mutations and a hundred melee mutations, plus it's not just a hundred, it's 102 that it's not just an utter steamroll. That is kind of crazy. All right. Well, now I... I, I, I'm kind of sad that they, they took so much damage doing that because I'm going to have to wait forever for them to heal. At least with Shimu here, we can go ahead and get into the Blood Rage and start rapidly healing that way. And I guess we can kill a bunch of Fiomia to force feed high protein meat. So I'm guessing that's what we'll do. All right. Well, I won't make you peeps watch that. I will see you all once we've set up at the Blue Obelisk to take on the Mega Monkey. And just like that, through the power of editing, we are ready to fight the Mega Monkey. This is also where we fight the Overseer. And interestingly enough, we also needed Alpha Manticore Head to fight the Overseer. So, I'm, oh, I mean, while I'm here, let's just drop in the Broodmother Head because I'm going to need to leave it here anyway. And let's begin the teleportation process. Do I need anything else for this? No. I mean... Uh, I wonder, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna plant this over here, right? There we go, spider flag. All right, quick, get on Shimu. All right, all right, all right. That Godzilla movie, peeps, by the way, was amazing. I, I was a super big fan, and I, I want to talk about it, but I can't, and I won't, because not only will it be a spoiler for potentially you guys, it's also a spoiler for my girlfriend who couldn't hear me. Oh boy, and here we are. All right, she, this is going to be a little bit more difficult to avoid uh, the friendly damage. And oh, really? Even with a full tech suit, I'm still burning in here. Very interesting. Ooh, let's go ahead, drop all of, drop the inventory. Thank you, because we are very slow. All right, see, I might honestly just lead all the gigas up into his arena because I'll have more space to avoid angry gigas if I do that. Right. All right, wait, come on. Wait, that's interesting. How come you two didn't get fully couraged? There we go. All right, everyone, follow me. Follow me. Oh, peeps. All right, this is it. This is it. Oh, I mean, uh, this isn't it because we still have two more bosses after this, but this is it for the island trio at the very least. All right, everyone. Wow, you are rapid. That is a quick monkey. All right, everyone, yes. Go, 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 go. Go. Go! Okay, I'm gonna also get everyone off of follow just because I don't want them coming after me. All right, this should be even easier than Brood. I wonder if any of them will even rage. That's a yes. That's a resounding yes. I need to back up here. Focus the monkey, not on me. And I think that's it. I think, I mean, I, I'm pretty sure that's literally it. Oh, the, oh my God, all of the Gigantopithecus falling into their death. Yeah, wow. Yeah, we really did start with the harder one, didn't we? And, um... That is Alpha Megapithecus. There we go. Oh, look at look at the gigas turn towards me. All right, are you are we good? I, I'm so glad we learned tech. Well, oh, I, I again I didn't see who got the kill there. I don't even know if it displays who got the kill. 
Yeah, well, there we go, peeps. That um, that was that was a that's a time efficient episode, I would say, especially without the the longer first part of this video's intent. Like, be I don't I don't even know what I'm trying to say, but uh, yeah, good amount of element, nowhere near the amount that we get for the dragon. But I guess the dragon is the much harder fight. How much damage did you guys take? Uh, not that much. Yeah. Wow. So spider was way harder than that, and. And there we go, peeps. So I, I guess I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. I'm going to go ahead and leave all the gigas here because I plan on doing Overseer next. And then we're going to finish with Alpha Rockwell. But uh, that won't be next episode. Next episode will be Titanosaur Mutations. And then maybe also base building. Depends on how I want to do the mutations. Like I might do the mutations uh, kind of quickly, and then we can have a two for one with mutation and base building just to get all the Titan stuff out of the way. And then we're going to finish with Rockwell and Overseer. So yeah, peeps look forward to that. I've got a lot of work ahead of me in terms of breeding Titanosaur. And, but thankfully it's mostly just me going AFK while I play other games or watch movies or YouTube or or whatever but uh yeah thank you all so much for watching again peep the beautiful indom this is this is the real highlight of this video like the boss boss kills or whatever i mean i don't think anyone's expecting me to struggle with the bosses anymore because i'm pretty sure dragon is harder than overseer at least in my opinion it, it will if you bring carnivores if you bring therizinos then dragon's really not that bad because it doesn't have its it's tick damage because if you don't know how the dragon fight works it does i think 20 percent of your creature's health with its burn damage if it burns a carnivore and i think it might be only 10 percent against a herbivore i forgive me if those numbers are wrong but the point is it's better to take herbivores to fight the dragon which is why so many people actually do enjoy taking Therizinos instead of the, the standard Rex. Also, Therys are just kind of better than Rexes. I wish Rexes were stronger, especially in these modded series. I haven't used Rexes. Wow, it is. It's dark here, isn't it, peeps? Oh, my, and this is Gamma Up. I feel like there might be an issue with the lighting engine. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I guess I'll, I'll stop rambling. Uh, thank you all so much for watching this episode, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye! There we go. Oh, I guess, I guess the lighting still isn't fixed. Look at how ominous this is. I probably have to reload to fix that.